So now that we're familiar with the Lightroom interface and we understand how catalogs, folders, and collections work, we're ready to start importing some photos. So you probably already have some photos either on your hard drive or on an external drive that you want to now bring into Lightroom so you can organize them and manipulate them in Lightroom. So let's do that first. So I'm going to go here and click the import button. The first thing that you'll do is select the source. So you're going to select where your current images are on your hard drive. I'm working on an external hard drive right now, so I'm just going to pick this folder right here. And as we talked about before, we're going to organize our images just by date. So I've been doing this for a while, so I already have these images sorted by date on my external hard drive. So they're all checked here. Along the top, you'll see some options. There's copy as DNG, copy, move, and add. We'll talk about these more in detail as we go, but since these are already on an external hard drive, or in your case, they might already be on your hard drive in your computer, you don't want to move them or copy them or anything. We just want to add them to Lightroom so that we can get at them through the Lightroom interface. So pick add. Once you've selected to add your photos, you can choose to add all your photos, just the new photos, or you can select individual photos. If you only want to select certain photos in this folder, uncheck the box next to all photos, and then you can check the box next to the photos that you want to import. If you have a few in a row that you want to import, you can select the first one, and then shift and select the last one to select all the photos in a row and then check one of these boxes and they will all be checked. Then you can go ahead and import these four photos. We're going to select to import all of the photos. So let's go over here to file handling. I like to import my photos as quickly as possible. It can take some time if you have a lot of folder, uh, photos in your folder. So, build previews. This is the preview of your image. For example, if I pick one and go to full size, that's a preview. So, I only want Lightroom to render the minimal size right now. You could select to, to render the one-to-one -one image previews, but that's going to take a long time. So I just leave it a minimal for now. If I want other previews later, I'll create them later. Uh, I don't build smart previews. This checkbox here for don't import suspected duplicates can come in very handy, especially if you did what I just showed you about importing only four of these folders, or sorry, four of these photos. And then later on, you might come and import the next four photos or something like that. If you have this don't import suspected duplicates checked, it won't try to import photos that you've already done. So that can be very handy. I always leave that checked. The next section, make a second copy to, I don't do that because I have a different method of backing up my photos a method that I think is better than using Lightroom's built-in method here. So we'll talk about that later. I'm going to leave that unchecked. The next section is Add to Collection. I'm going to leave that unchecked because I only add my finished photos to my collections. The ones that I've processed and I'm, I'm done with them and I think they're good, then I add them to a collection. We'll go through that later in more detail when we do collections. So essentially, in this section, I'm just going to render minimal previews and check don't import suspected duplicates and leave everything else blank. The next section is apply during import. And these are things you can do to your photo, uh, develop settings and metadata and keywords during the import process. So, develop settings. I never do this because I want full control over everything in my photo. So, what this could be is something like 
if you always add contrast and saturation or something like that, you could create a preset here and have that happen when you import your photo. But I don't do that. I like to look at each photo individually and process it individually based on what it needs. So I don't have anything happening automatically here. I leave that set at none. Now metadata, this I use. This is where you can apply your copyright to your photos when you import them. So I like to do it at this point so that my copyright is on all of my photos right from the get-go and I don't forget to do that at some point in the future. So on this metadata drop-down box I currently have a couple of copyrights that I've already created. Yours will be blank. So let's go here to new and create a new metadata preset and then you can use that in the future for every time you import your photos. So I'm going to call this um, Anne's New Metadata. And basically all I do here is the copyright and the copyright status. So I'm going to put, um, well let's say it's 2016. It isn't, but I uh, better not do that. 2015 and the kennel. And the copyright status is copyrighted. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to add in anything in all of these multitude of other boxes. All I care about right now is the copyright. So I'll click Create. So now, anytime I come here in the future, I can click Anne's New Metadata and have that copyright automatically applied to my photos. The last thing here is keywords. You'll have opportunities to add keywords later, but I like to add keywords now um, just because it's helpful. And um, all of these photos I made in Iceland, so I'm just going to simply put Iceland and leave it at that. And then I'm going to click Import. And since it's just adding the photos that already exist on my hard drive. This is happening quite quickly. You can see the progress bar here and it's finished. And there they are. So that is how you import some of your photos that are currently on your hard drive into Lightroom. And now I can go ahead and do other things in the library or the develop module, whatever I want to do. My photos are available here for me in Lightroom. One thing, very important thing to note, is that once your photos are in Lightroom, you don't want to move them outside of Lightroom. So you don't want to go into your uh, file explorer or finder to move your photos. If you're going to move them, do it in Lightroom or else Lightroom will just uh, lose its mind and it will have a little question mark because it doesn't know where your photo is anymore. So once it's in Lightroom, do everything in Lightroom.